Hundreds of thousands of rat-sized, house-eating snails are invading homes in Florida. Now, this is my hometown. Um, and Florida is known for its invasive species from the scientific perspective. Like, you know, you have the, the mangrove tree, which is not made in Florida, but was brought in to suck up all the water, and now it's taken over the land. Um, but here's a new problem, the giant African land snail. The snail, which can grow as large as a rat, was first discovered in South Florida by a homeowner in 2011. According to the Florida Department of Agriculture, since taking over, there's been 1,100,000 um, of these found, and thousands more um, have been caught each week. The snails can eat over 500 species of plant, or pretty much anything in their path and green, as well as, um, you know, the stuff used to build houses, like plaster and stecco. Um, and in several weeks, even more of these snails will come alive. Each female can produce up to 1,200 eggs a year, which will emerge from the ground after Florida's rainy season ends. And folks don't know, the rainy season is coming to an end. The rainy season is just beginning to start. So if folks who don't know anything about Florida, I'll give you a little bit of Florida geography or Florida, I guess it's like meteorology. In the summertime, um, in Florida, it's what you call the wet season, where it rains constantly. It rains almost every day in Florida. In the, in the summertime. And in the winter, it actually gets really, really dry. And we have like these really massive forest fires. Happens all the time. So what they're saying is by the end of this summer, which is also sort of coincides with hurricane season, if folks don't know hurricane season starts just next month. So we get a big hurricane, we get a lot of water, we get a lot of rain, and all of a sudden these house-eating snails begin to emerge from the ground. They start to eat Florida homes home. By home now not to mention that not only did the foreclosure crisis hit florida pretty rough this snail eating crisis could hit florida even worse um it's pretty sad uh, i'm not really sure what they're gonna what you're gonna do about it but hopefully hopefully the florida department of agriculture is on it and i hope that rick scott the governor there um has made some investments in solving this you know large snail problem and he's not talking about when he made government cuts now this is an area where we can get some research in now, i didn't mean to get political but i thought i would but for those Florida Floridians listening, I'm a Floridian. My heart goes out to you. And if you see a big, giant African African land snail, send us a picture in of it and tell me how it looks. I've never seen one before.